Spring Back Compensation. In this video, we are going to be reviewing Spring Back Compensation from an original model. We're going to do some compensation to compare that original model to what the Spring Back prediction is telling us so we can accurately make a better model. So when we do Spring Back, we're going to accurately figure out how much Spring Back are we going to actually have when we make a part. So we're going to start off by creating the original blank on the original part. We will select our part here and we'll generate our blank. This blank will basically be a preview of the flattened part. And once this is complete, we're going to set the material. The material is going to matter to how the spring back predictions are going to work because every material has its own properties. In Visi, there's a variety of materials already pre-built into the software. You can also add your own. From here, we're going to choose a holding face. This holding face, when we do our blank, is going to hold that face so that way that face doesn't shift at all. So now we're going to generate the blank here. This blank is going to show a preview of the part when it's flattened. From here, we'll go ahead and do the initial spring back. This initial spring back is going to preview how much spring back we're going to have when we create this part on the press. So the green is the spring back mesh and the blue is the nominal mesh. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a difference between the two. We can look in different areas and that difference could shift and fluctuate. We can always do queries on this to, do, to measure the distance between the two points and be able to get an accurate distance between specific areas on this mesh. From here, we can also check for any kind of safety violations, safety zones, and we can animate the blank part. So this can tell us just a quick little preview of if we have any wrinkling tendencies, if we have relatively safe areas, or if the part could possibly split in a certain area. We can also animate and simulate the part. So this is thinking about this, it's going to strike in one form. So as you can see, when it strikes, it's showing you a prediction or an animation of what the part is going to look like, how the part is going to form in that strike. Now we're going to review the forming limit diagram. This basically shows the measurement and study similar to that safety zone that's going to basically show you in the progression where you're going to see the safe areas, the strain, and any kind of wrinkling tendencies throughout the process. Now we're ready to do some spring back compensation. So we're going to use the finite analysis tool. So basically we're going to pick the entity to change, we'll pick our nominal mesh, and then the spring back mesh we previously generated from the initial part inside of Vizzy Blank. We pick the face that we want, in this case we pick all the faces, but you can pick a certain flange as well. Then we can choose a percentage of spring back how far we want it to go, in this case we'll do 105%. So right now what it's doing is it's going to generate a spring back mesh. That mesh is actually going to create a clean surface once confirmed. This compensated surface is what you will use to make your tooling. Once this is done creating our compensated surface, we can now run it back through the spring back prediction and confirm it matches up to our original part. And now we're going to run a blank off of that compensated clean surface that we just made using the spring back finite analysis tool. So we'll choose this, we'll set up our parameters the same exact way we set up the initial parameters. And basically from there, we'll go ahead and choose our data. So we're going to pick the holding face here. And then we're going to go ahead and generate that blank. So just like the original one, we're going to generate the same type of blank. And then once we generate that blank, we'll be able to create a new spring back and we'll predict that spring back in comparison with the initial part. This is a fast process to analyze your part, creating compensated data and verifying it based off the compensation study, making it faster and easier and more accurate to be able to create your part and have it accurately unfold to what the original model was. So now we're going to go ahead and compare the compensated spring back with the original part. So as you can see, this is showing how accurate this spring back is in comparison with what the original part is. So now we know how to form the part. Now we can use the reverse compare command if we want to get a little bit more of an advanced study to compare the compensated mesh to the original part. So if I use the compare command here, I'm going to select the mesh. I'm also going to select the surface data here and any faces that we want to do. 
So if I choose to, this is going to do a comparison between the two bodies on first body and second body. And if I hit preview, this shows us exact comparisons between the two bodies. So you got percentages and you got actual distances between the two bodies. So I can look and compare what the differences are between my compensated mesh and the original part. Thank you.